Hey guys, it's your boy Jackie. I'm back with another video. And today, if y'all cannot tell from the title of the video, we are here with my first concert story time. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. So in today's video, to be honest, I don't know what the title of this video is going to be. Um, but from my mind and what I'm thinking about right now, it's probably going to be, oh my gosh, my secret is out. I am secretly a carrot. Basically, if you guys not know what a carrot is, I don't know the exact term, but it's basically what the fans of Seventeen are called. So if you guys don't know who Seventeen is or who Seventeen are, they are basically a Korean boy band, aka K-pop, from Korea, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know that much information on it, but I guess I'm still learning, so don't roast me in the comments. But yeah, I am a fan of Seventeen, making me a carrot. So we are going to talk more about that later, but let's get back to the quick story time of my first concert, which is kind of, sort of, a 17 concert. So yes, I am 22 years old and I have never been to a concert in my life. I've been to like sporting events such as Falcons games, Hawks games, Braves games, but I have never been to a concert. And then so with that said though, I have a friend and we both love 17, right? They kind of put me on with 17, but it's a funny story on how I found out about 17, which I will tell you guys later on in this video. But basically, 17 on this past Saturday, let me check the date real quick. So this past Saturday, which was December 16, 2023, they had a live stream at the movie theaters of their Japan tour that they were on right now playing live at the movie theaters. So basically what I'm trying to say is that on December 16, 2023, Seventeen, who was performing in Japan, had a live stream or something live that they were playing in movie theaters around the world. So me and my friend, we were going to go. We decided to go. So with that said, I was not forced. Um, I chose to go. Um, and yeah, I'm making this video to admit to you guys that yes, I like K-pop. Um, and yeah, I guess my first concert ever was kind of a 17 concert. Not really though. So basically, I've been to a concert, but i never been to a concert. I never actually went to like a stadium or whatever to actually go watch someone perform live. Um, yeah, don't ask me why. I don't know. I guess I don't really see the appeal in concert. I'd rather watch the music video. But one of these days, I'll go to an actual concert. But for now, the first concert I ever went to was at a movie theater. So it's kind of a first concert story time. So with that said though, the story time starts on that day or maybe the day before. We bought the tickets for the Regals movie theater at Mall of Georgia, which is in Georgia, you know what I'm saying, the suburbs of Atlanta. And basically, when we got there, that mall is very, probably one of the most private malls in Georgia. And that movie theater is at the very top of the mall. And basically, um, that movie theater looked very old and yeah, that's that's all I gotta say. It looked very vintage, to say it nicely. So with that said, we got there. We got there before time, just in case they were giving out free stuff or whatever. I never been to a concert or any K-pop concerts or just any concerts in general. They've been to a couple concerts and a couple of K-pop concerts. They've been to a Seventeen concert when they came to Atlanta, um, but they wanted to go see them live in concert in Japan, and I wanted to go as well. But to be honest, I didn't really want to go because. For one, they were singing in Japanese, and yeah, I barely understand to speak Chinese, and or even with English, I barely understand, I can't barely read, um, yeah, my English is very poor, my Chinese is very poor, and then I'm also getting into K-pop, and I don't know what K-pop, I don't know what they're saying in Korean, I have no clue why I said it like that, but yeah, basically, I don't understand Korean, and then, so I was just basically like, why am I going to watch them perform in Japanese, when I barely understand English, barely understand Chinese, definitely don't understand Korean, and now Japanese, that's just a lot, that's a lot of languages for me to take in, so I was very iffy, but I wanted to go because they wanted to go, so with that said, when we got there, we were walking around the mall, we got there early, we got there maybe around 3-ish, we walked around, we ate some food, and then... We started going up around 4.30, 4.40ish. We bought our snacks and went into the movie theater and we waited. While we were waiting, we got some freebies from someone who asked us if we wanted freebies and we said yeah. So we got them right here, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna take them out and show you guys my my 17 knowledge. Um, I think one of these days, another video I'm gonna do is to do a test on the 17 
um, the people in 17 because I feel like that would be a fun video because yeah it's hard for me to tell them apart sometimes but yeah right here we got I don't know if y'all can see it you know what I'm saying let me hide my face um, if it focuses oh ooh, I gotta make this focus oh focus it's not focusing Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. We got DK, and then this is going to be on what's on the back. So shout out to them. So this is who, I guess, gave us the card. Don't look at my crusty hands. But, yeah, we got DK. Next up, we got... Oh, snap. Uh, we got... Let's see, I don't know who these are. Um, I think that's Wu. And I don't know who the other person is. I think that's... Is that June? I think that's Wanwu in June. So, yeah, that was in one of them. So, shout out to, I guess, on Instagram at rosegold.hour. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to them. There was also a Haichu in this, but, you know, we ate that. And then in the second one, we got, if this focuses, we got Wanwu. You know what I'm saying? My boy Wanwu. And then in this picture card thing, if it focuses, we got DK, Wanwu, and Hoshi. Um, the, the people who sing the fighting song, um, yeah, y'all finna roast me because I don't really know much, but yeah, I know that those, that trio, they be singing songs together, right, if my, if my, if my calculations are right, so yeah, please do not roast me because I am still learning, and do not roast me because I like K-pop, because when it comes to music, I like all kinds of music, I like all genres, even country, it's just if I like it, I like it, and my music tastes is legit all over the place. I can go from K-pop to rap to R&B, um, but yeah, I would definitely say my two or even three top music that I like is probably K-pop, R&B, and probably pop right now. Those are very mixed genres, but I'm weird, so let me be. But back to the story, after we got our freebies, the time was 5 o'clock as it was starting at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And for some reason, it didn't start going, right? We waited 5, 10 minutes. I think at the 15-minute mark, that's when someone came in and they were like, Hey, technical difficulties, we're working on it, we're trying to get it up for y'all. And then we waited another 10, 5, 15 minutes. So this was about 5.30, almost 5.40, which it started at 5, right? The manager came in and was like, sorry, we can't give it up. And basically, here is your refund. Um, and you can get a free movie ticket for whatever movie you want to watch. So that's basically how my first time going to a concert went. Basically, it got canceled because, I don't know, Regal's maybe gets too old. I don't know what was going on. They couldn't get it up and we weren't able to watch it. And I don't know if we were the only movie theater that had trouble watching the live stream or whatever. But basically, we just weren't able to see it. So we got our money back. And then... Um, we got free movie tickets because, yeah, we couldn't watch it. So, basically, that's the story time. My first concert ever I went to was a movie theater one. And then, basically, um, it got canceled because the things weren't working, the, the screens or whatever. They couldn't get it connected, and we weren't able to watch it. So, we got a refund, and we got our money back. So, yeah, that's a good story time. So, basically, that is the story time of my first concert and yeah, one of these days I am going to actually go to a concert and I'm going to probably make a whole vlog, but that's the f first fake concert, I guess, in the movie studio. So basically it's still a concert, but not really. You know what I'm saying? But back to the story time on how I found Seventeen out. So basically the past couple of years I've been dabbling with my K-pop, you know what I'm saying? Dabble, you know what I'm saying? Um, and basically um, the way I found K-pop was because earlier this year, I was in my Monster X phase. I don't know which album that I was blasting on replay, but it's the album with the middle of the night. And basically, I was blasting that album, right? And then basically, on Spotify, I started just branching out or like just, um, you know, how they make playlists and stuff for you. Like, I just tried one out. So basically, a member from the group, his name is The Eight, right? His song popped up side by side. The Korean version, and basically when I heard that song, I thought it was a whole nother K-pop band slash group or whatever it is called. And basically, um, I thought that was a whole nother group, but separate by itself. So I started listening to the Eight by himself. So he was the first member that I found from Seventeen without knowing he was from Seventeen. So basically, when I told my friend about him, I was like, "Bro, the Eight, 
this group is hard. She was basically like, no, dumbass. He is a person. And I was like, no, ain't no way. Who, who what's, Whose name is the eight? Um, but then I figured out his name isn't like really the eight. I don't know his Chinese name, but I found out he was Chinese. And then I found out his stage name was the eight. So he became kind of one of my favorite members from that group because, you know, I got Chinese backgrounds because, you know, my mom's from Taiwan, but that's from Malaysia. And we have ancestors from China. So I found out he's Chinese. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I had a root for my boy. And then basically... That's how I found out about Seventeen. And then my friend, she also was falling in love with Seventeen at the same time. She was probably more ahead. But then basically, like, when I wasn't hanging out with her, I started listening to myself more. So I think we kind of got on the same page and maybe I got a little bit ahead of her. Um, yeah, but I basically started listening to a lot of Seventeen songs. It was really after this one YouTube video that I watched, I don't remember what it was called. I think it was like something like Dingo or something like that, Dingo Live, where they basically, it was like a 30 minute video where they sang samples of their songs live. And that's when I fell in love with them. And I just kind of went to Spotify, went to 17 and just started playing all their music and talked down the songs from that video or just songs that I liked. And that's kind of how I got into 17. And because of the help of my friend um, from that video, I was able to fall in love with some of the members. Um, I really like the 8th, like I said. I like DK. Um, I like Scoop or S Scoop. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's like Saquon, Saquon. I call him Saquon. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but him, he can really sing really well. Um, and I like Wan Wu. Um, there's a lot more members that I really like, but like I said, I think it'll be a very fun video for me to do as i'm not gonna lie i'm very bad with the faces and names but i know probably i would say i know a good maybe half of them and there's like 13 members in the group so i could probably name a good six or seven of them so yeah i could say that confidently hopefully stay tuned for that video but yes i hope you guys enjoy this video i expose myself i like k-pop um yeah but but like i said in this video my music taste is all over the place. I love all kinds of music. My top three music genres are definitely K-pop, uh, pop, and probably R&B. Um, yeah, no one particularly older. I like all music. If it's good, it's good. And if it pleases my ears, I love it. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess you could say I am a carrot. But with that said, though, I don't want to hold you guys for too much longer. If you guys have any other questions or comments, let me know down below. Um, don't roast me too much because I am sensitive. And yeah, I really think that's all I have for you guys in today's video. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe, share, and your boy is out.